He's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with him, just go inside. Well, maybe I uh, will. You. Mm. you need my help again. You come see me. No, got there's... a cabin just Fuck. outside of Fox. What? Park. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. Good to know. Why is it so just hard to sure see, even though it's the middle of the day? Something strong. There's enough to share. Okay, please go away. You're a very nice man. Okay. Uh. Maybe later. Maybe later, Longfellow. All right. You ever want to hunt the forest and walk? Okay, the he's a companion. Good deal. I think of worse things to do. Fascinating. Hi, everybody. I've been trying to do an introduction, but I ended rather suddenly with the Arcadia. This is the synth settlement, I remember. Yeah. 51 hours in this bad boy, and it ain't gonna Professor Badass itself. So let's see if we can't get this sorted out. Gotta get my 15 views somehow. Optional help, Captain Avery. I don't know who that is. I know we're looking for a girl. And at some point, we will probably blow people up on the mainland. Oh, this looks fun. You know, when I first climbed this Good mountain Lord. above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking okay. in. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you it was in your space. Of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. You're gonna make me hate Synths, aren't you? I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? It doesn't We're not matter. answering any more questions until you play straight with us. Just who the hell are you, really? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own. And I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick? It... It can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please, if you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah, sure. All right, Dina. We'll humor you. Did he say his name? Keep talking. This all started over a century ago, when we were first created. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's. There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Hence the diesel I've engine. Heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. Yeah, sure. We'll talk later. This is a lot to take in. Yeah, sure. No, what, what do you say? I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Now. About young Kasumi, it's important that you understand exactly why she's here. Because she's I a brain in a jar. Or if you think she's really a sin. If you could 
indulge me with an answer. Still doesn't matter. There it is. Who or what she is isn't important. But it is. It's everything. Imagine just looking at your own hands and having to wonder, was I born with these, or were they manufactured? None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. Mm -hmm. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. Mm -hmm. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? <sighs> sure. No, but if I squint real hard in the mirror, sometimes I look like someone else. <laughs> I'm afraid when I try that trick, nothing really changes. I know it might seem impossible that you could be a synth. <laughs> Tell me, what's the first thing you can remember? Are we really doing this game? I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? Just a single day and then waking up alone? We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth, <laughs> don't we? Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? A uh, existential crisis. People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Uh-huh. Trauma. Disease. The background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. Uh-huh. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. I could be a transcent. Yeah, sure. I've heard enough. Where's Kasumi Nakano? Of course. Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Acadia is open to you. Mm -hmm. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you need anything else before you go? Uh, I'm in every faction. No, I should good. get going. Of course. Perhaps they were in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Where is this person? Oh, there they are. Now, it's... Okay, so there's two possibilities here. There's something incredibly sinister going on. Or they're a benign bunch of fruit cups. No one can really know. Is that... Nick, what the hell are you going? I want to see these two talk at each other. This is Faraday. Are you a synth, Faraday? Hey. So, hey. you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. Oh, okay. So, you're a synth? I am. I hope that's not a problem for you. Why, Dima has worked why'd they make hard your ears to like that? for us where we can be safe from those who don't accept us. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. Uh -huh. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. Oh yeah, the fog. Mm. You do all this work yourself? Mostly, yes. I get help from the others when I can. But no one else really understands Dima the way I do. So you'd say you were the linchpin of the entire organization. Can you tell me about the fog condensers? Oh, those? Dima and I designed them when it became clear the fog was only getting worse. They're effective, but have such a limited range. 
Dima insisted we provide them to the people of Far Harbor, and I'm so glad we did. Without the condensers, I'm oh, not yeah, sure they'd have uh, anywhere left. Adam's like... doing the fog. Okay. Dima looks like he's had a lot of work done. Well, that's certainly an understatement. Between the two of us, we've made so many modifications. He was just a prototype, never built for all this. It took a lot to overcome the limitations of the original design and expand his memory. The, the diesel really engine. is remarkable, isn't it? He's overcome so much. He's become so much more than he once was. And all he thinks of is others. I'm sure. What do you need? If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, <gasps> though, so oh, no. I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip. Oh, see. no. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here for extra parts, if nothing else. Uh -huh. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. So, does this sound like something you could handle? Well, I'm not very scared of the boat. What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. But the point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. So, are you up for it? We've already lost someone we care about. Uh, I don't really care sure about Sure thing, money. Faraday. I'll get the drives. I am beyond well, your you. petty human I money. I do appreciate it. Or synth money. Do you guys even use skee-ball tokens? Can I play with your stuff? What are you even doing in here? It's just monitors that you can't see. And duct tape. Oh, I can have stuff. Well, that's nice. Is that oil? No, that's not oil. Depressing. Yep. It's dirty. How long have you guys been here and you like... Like, I get... Okay, there's the Fallout aesthetic, right? And everything seems cobbled together. But it's like... Pick some of this shit up. Make it a home. It doesn't just have to be a place you work. Hang some pictures. Pot a plant. All you need is a bucket and some dirt. There's a bucket right there. You can have a little fern. Oxygenates the room. Adds much needed color. Mine. Well, ain't that a So, I understand you've seen a good bit of our island. See, she's making plants. What do you think? Uh the yeah. term hellhole comes to mind. Perhaps a bit harsh, but the environment certainly can be unforgiving. This island, with all of its danger and beauty, predates you and I. It really doesn't, though. The ecosystem though. isn't what it once was, but it has adapted, and it will continue to adapt, long after we're gone. What's important, really important in the long run, is understanding it, and mm. then passing that knowledge along to those who will follow us. Mm. Well, if XCOM has taught me anything, is we understand things by shooting them and cutting them open. If that's what floats your boat. It gives me a sense of purpose, yes. I like having something worthwhile to which I can dedicate my time. Mm. I should note that I'm not fully versed in human anatomy, but I'm your best chance of medical assistance should you require it. Since Dima has approved of you, I'm more than willing to offer help. Uh, what do you I'd need? Like to help you with your research. Oh, well, that's thoughtful of you. Hmm. Okay. What can we have you do? I too search for meaning to occupy my time. To this island. A species of the genus Aster that has survived remarkably well. Mm -hmm. It doesn't quite have the brilliance of color that I understand it once did before, hmm, well, before the war. I'm personally rather fond of them, but lately have been investigating secondary chemical properties they possess. Mm -hmm. If you could bring me additional samples, it would speed up my research. Mm -hmm. I can offer you a meager amount of caps, if that makes the idea more appealing. No, but... What exactly is the point of all this? A mix of scientific inquiry and personal interest, I suppose. I'm curious about the changes the species has gone through over the centuries. I also find them beautiful. Well, we'll see how it goes. I have some flowers. Oh, for you. I'm we sorry, already did it. It's a joke I'm not in on. If you do actually what? find any, I'll be happy to take them. Okay, I was looking for the "Okay, I'll do that" button, and since that prop came up, I assumed I had some. But apparently the game Sounds is full like of shit. Clear. Cog. 
Really? You're a robot named Cog. I, I'm not prepared for this <clears throat> amount of heresy. Sounds like you got the all clear. So what's your story? Uh, yeah. I came here looking for Kasumi. Oh, isn't that sweet of you? That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. But then, aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. No what shit. Where you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. Mm hmm Is there anything you care about? I mean, staying alive is preferable to not. Beyond that, what's the point of caring? Anyway, lately I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but let me know anyway. I think this is my new favorite character. Let's see what you have. You never know. I might actually have something useful. Uh, are you just a junk dealer or what? I have all kinds of shit. I have plasma grenades. Targeting triple barrel missile launcher. A recon marine chess piece. Ooh, that's nice. That's quite good, actually. Um, drugs. A little bit of everything. How am I sitting on inventory? I have no idea. Ooh, low on fusion cells. Plasma rounds? Plenty of plasma rounds. How much money have we got? Way too much. Uh, you've only got 40. Well, I guess I'll take them. Alright, cool. Productive. Ooh, stuff. I like it as stuff. So I might... Where the... Excuse me, how the hell did I get here? Now that's you. Oh, I came down some stairs. Okay. Good lord, what are you? I are you assume you're not planning on staying. Yeah, you're food. And an asshole, so I don't want to talk to you. So you all live so in this shack. you're that new fellow from the Commonwealth. It's so wonderful to meet someone from back home. I'm afraid Kasumi doesn't seem to want to discuss it, but... How are things there? Very explodey. Feels like things are getting worse by the day. Oh, don't be silly. It was never all that bad. Not really. I would like to see it again someday. Once things settle down here. Acadia is all well and good, I suppose. But honestly, it does get a bit boring. Lady, flying helicopter planes fall burning from the sky as men and women die screaming underneath them. What do you mean it was never all that bad? Are you insane? Uh, sure. You're safe here. <laughs> That's what really matters. Mm, I suppose. One could do with a little excitement now and then, though. Don't you think? I'm sure I'll see you around. Do take care. Keep it in your pants, lady. New guy, right? Look. Ah, there's one named I'm Jewel. Worth talking to. My head is killing me. But but you're a now robot. Do you... what? What's wrong? We're doing this anyway? Even after saying I don't want to talk? God. Well, I don't value you your agency. somebody botch a mind wipe on you and see how it feels. Then get back to me, okay? What do you mean, mind wipe? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. This You're is fun. on the run. You go to someone, you get a new face, and they wipe your mind so the Institute can't find you. How does that work Only exactly? Somebody screwed mine up. <laughs> so here I am. Now just please leave me alone. See, this is the part of the, the where the railroad loses me. It's like, okay, so you do the mind wipe. So you're just making a new entity out of the entity that was already conscious enough to want freedom. So, but but eh, there's there's smoke coming out of my ears. So it's like why? Why, how does... You think there'd just be a signal uh, or something? Circuitry is completely fried. I don't know, it just doesn't make any sense to me. But I'm an asshole, so what do you want? Whip. Oh, that's that stairway. Presumably. Who are you? Katie is far away enough from the Institute that we don't have to worry, right? Sure, why not? Oh, you're just synth refugee. You're not worth talking to. Excuse me. <laughs> I need to find an actual NPC. Oh, I can open this. 
I mean, if I wasn't trash. Yeah. Hey, we did it. Whoops, this is another first aid kit. Sure. Ooh. Fusion cells? Eh, plasma cartridge. I'm okay with that. And caps. <laughs> Yay, caps! Actually, those look like bullets, Chief. No, Nick, they're caps. Trust me on this. I thought I saw another first aid kit. Ooh, what are you? Oh, more master terminals. Too stupid to open. Fair enough. Um, there's run. Let's talk to the lady and find out why she can't leave because she thinks she's a robot. Assuming Nakano? And that matters. Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. Your parents sent me. They want you to come home. They. They did what? You came all this way for me. Look, my mom and dad. I, I mean, those people that were taking care of me. They wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. What do you mean? I'm not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? Can I get into my inventory? Do I have any candy? I do. So what are we what are we going with? You're confused, you're not a replacement. There we go. You haven't replaced anyone. Kenji and Ray are still your parents. I I really wish that See, was true. And hang on. This is the other example of the mind wipe thing being stupid. If this is the end result, what's the point? Because it's like you're you're effectively have taken the place of the person. Like, okay, we go all the way back to the beginning of the game with that scene where the guy's, "No, I'm your brother," eh, and then the guards shoot him. Um, it's like what? Like, if it's something the institute does, and it's like a Terminator program, where you're like, "Er, I gotta infiltrate, and then I gotta flip out and kill people." Okay, fine, that makes sense. But if we're doing this, and you, why are we giving the machine self doubt <laughs> and crippling depression? <laughs> That's fucked up. Anyway. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Uh huh. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. <gasps> There's more going on here than just. Is it something right. sinister? But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. Hell yeah! I've been running long enough. What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to. Wait. Wait, you find things. I do. Find answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. I am a protagonist. I you that there's a secret. <gasps> a big secret here <gasps> on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. I would squee like a little anime girl. What are you talking about? Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. Mm -hmm. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. What explain the free giving of technology to lesser people? Um, sarcastic. Yeah. Personally, I find calculated mass murder to be very soothing. Acceptable. Look, help me out, and if I'm wrong, you can make all the jokes you want. <sighs> now, Sorry, I've Val. I tried doing some digging on my own, but I haven't had much luck. Mm. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide and eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. It requires all kinds of letters and stuff. Um, I'm f I'll just talk to Dima. This'll be easier if I just talk to Dima. 
convince him that he needs to be I am full of candy. All right. Good luck. Let me know what you find out. Hmm. Yes. I think I gained access to the storage room. I wish I could hack his terminal. Hey, I'm listening. How you what? doing, bud? Oh, sorry. Got my head full of what Dima was talking about. It's a bit of a shock. What do you think he is, really? Family? I mean, he's a robot. Honestly? I don't know what to think, Nick. Yeah. Guess that makes two of us. I spent a long time wondering if the Institute had made any other prototypes. If I was just a failure, or they gave up, or just plain got bored. Oh, I always thought I was just more of their discarded trash. Never thought of the possibility that someone wanted me out. Helped me escape. Hmm. There's got to be some kind of proof out there. What really happened between me and Dima? Hmm. I'd appreciate it if we could keep an eye out. Mm -hmm. What kind of proof would we be looking for? I don't know. But our best bet is to keep looking into Dima and Acadia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of sure. course, Nick. We'll find something. Thanks. We'll go ask him. I know we don't have much to go on. Just keep me in mind if you find something that might give us some answers. You got it, Nicky baby. Okay, let's get upstairs while we're still high on Mentats. Would you keep going? I don't sleep or eat or anything like that. But if you need to, you do it. I'm good, Nick. I'm a protagonist. I don't require any of those things either. Dima, how you doing? Buddy! Oh, you look like shit. Hey, Dima. Feel free to say whatever is on your mind. We'll find out whatever's on our mind next time.